Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And in today's video, we will continue our discussion with regard to circle. Last time, we have uploaded a video wherein we defined circle, and we also illustrated the different parts of the circle. And today, in this video, we will talk about the different um, relationships of the angles inside the circle. And we will start with the discussion of central angle and the intercepted arc. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have tayo dito ngayon guys, uh, illustration of circle, and this is circle A. Again, this is circle A. And ang pag-uusapan natin right now is all about the relationship between the central angle and intercepted arc. But before we start with the relationships, so we will go with the central angle first. What is a central angle? Central angle is an angle wherein the vertex of the circle is at the center of the circle. So as you can see, we have here angle BAC in which angle BAC is considered as the central angle in center in the circle A. As you can see, uh, the vertex of angle BAC is at the center of the circle. And the endpoints of that angle or the rays of this angle is in the circle, which is point B and point C. So again, uh, when we talk about the central angle, it is simply an angle wherein the vertex is located at the center of the circle. And so how about the intercepted arc. Intercepted arc is a simple or a portion of the circumference of a circle. And as you can see, it helps an intercepted arc because the endpoints of the central angle is here. As you can see, our intercepted arc is arc BC. Wherein, makikita nyo na yung mismong endpoints ng ating Central angle ay yung mismo starting point ng ating intercepted arc which is arc BC. So punta natin ngayon which one or ano ba talaga yung relationship na pag-uusapan natin when we talk about the central angle and the intercepted arc. So sabi nito, the angle measure of the central angle is congruent to the measure of the intercepted arc. So yung dalawa kasi ating yung ating kasi uh, central angle and yung ating intercepted arc, they are both um, measured by the degrees involved. Kasi pareha silang angle. So ang gagawin natin dito, uh, is we'll just illustrate the, their relationship. First, sabi nito, the angle measure of the central angle is congruent to the measure of the intercepted arc. Here, yung ating central angle, the measure of angle BAC, which is our central angle, is congruent daw sa measurement of our intercepted arc which is arc BC. So ibig sabihin, we can calculate uh, the measurement of angle BC given yung the measurement of angle BAC. Or yung converse din ito pala guys, again yung converse ito, is that the measurement of the intercepted arc is congruent to the measurement of the central angle. So, para mas maintindihan nyo lalo yung ating relationship between the central angle and the intercepted arc, I will give you these examples. Sabi dito, find the value of x. So, as you can see, we have here circle O, wherein this is the measurement of your central angle, which is represented by x. At ito yung hahanapin natin, while the measurement of your intercepted arc is 120. So, Para makuha natin yan, syempre, alam naman natin that they are congruent, di ba? They are congruent. So we can say that your x is equal to 120 degrees. Ganun lang siya kadali guys. Because the measurement of this central angle is equal or congruent to your intercepted arc. So the answer here is x is equal to 120 and sir, how about this one? Let's name this as angle, uh, sorry, um, circle G. Now, we are asked to find the value of X. So as you can see, the measurement of 
the central angle is 150 and your intersected arc is represented by 3x so we need to solve for the value of x so how to solve it since they are equal we can equate 150 degrees be equal to 3x because this is your central angle and this is your intersected arc so to solve this all you need to do is to divide both sides of the equation by x by 3 cancel cancel and then you have your x here and 150 divided by 3 that is 50 degrees so we can flip it so we have x is equal to 50 degrees so for item number two or for problem number two the value of x is equal to 50 so you know guys i hope na tutukay sa video natin with regard to the relationship between the central angle and the intercepted arc so if you're new to my channel don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads again it's me teacher gone maraming maraming salamat bye bye